you look up your sexuality in the dictionary, your name will not be there. I promise you that. Welcome to my channel, Real Fam. Welcome back, my loyal followers. I'm just chilling out here. It's a great day. I'm not in my normal area. I had to walk a good minute to get here, but it's beautiful out here. It's a really, really beautiful day. I'm just sitting in this little playground, chilling. Um, of course, if it wasn't such a good walk away, I would have brought my kids. But that would be kind of dangerous because, you know, there's a lake behind me. And whatnot so um <clears throat> anyway I wanted to oh crap this kid's coming I can't stay oh wait are they going away I want to say a little something right quick <clears throat> what is it about sexuality that makes us want to shout to the rooftops. What is it about sexuality that makes us want to broadcast it? Wow. What is it about sexuality that makes us, um, again, want to talk about it so much, want to share to the world? As soon as we find out we have a different sexuality, we think we do, we want to tell everyone. Why is that? I don't know, I'm just having some thoughts this morning about that as I chill here. I might have to move because there are kids and they might want to come play and I don't want to block the area. But anyway. Mm -hmm. What is it? Do you guys, um, know? I think about these things a lot. Wait, <laughs> like, why do we have to announce our sexuality? Why must we be so proud of our sexuality? Is it? I mean, is that the only thing we as a people are proud of? Is that all we have to be proud of because this world is so shit? Is that what it is? Is that simply really what it is? Or is it something else? Is it really the fact that we have nothing else to look forward to on a daily basis for the most part? You know? Is it that? You know? Is it the fact that, um... We believe that people will only accept us if we talk about our sexuality. Is it the fact that we get more recognition when we talk about our sexuality? I really think that's a lot of it too. People do get a lot of recognition when they talk about their sexuality. I don't understand why. Of course, within the last maybe 10, 15 years, sexuality has taking over a lot of the more serious events in life and that's not a good thing we know that's not a good thing people are more concerned about gay rights rather than um, paying attention to important things you know like food shortages and wage increases and all the other good stuff that matters people would rather talk about sexuality than worrying about why don't we have enough playgrounds around for kids. We don't really, well I can't say that's for every state, but Georgia for sure does not have enough playgrounds. The outskirts of Atlanta do not have enough playgrounds. Why are we so worried about sexuality rather than fixing other things? Is really that serious? These are just random generalized questions. You know, we all can answer them in the comments if you want. Y'all can think I'm crazy if you want, it don't matter to me. Okay, this is just thoughts that I have. People are not worried about sexuality rather than not littering our earth. We're paying attention to the fact that our earth is so filthy and, you know, maybe sometimes helping pick up the litter. Unfortunately, I have to do that sometimes because I hate littering and when I see it, I just, it just grosses me out and infuriates me. People don't, don't pay attention to those things, and we should. Um, people need to stop littering our grounds, our grasses, our lakes. 
and we'll stop tearing down the trees, and we'll stop destroying flowers and everything else in the book. People are more focused on whether or not they can figure out their sexuality from reading an article or taking a quiz or, t or reading a post or listening to their friends or family or anything of that sort, you know? And it's just kind of ridiculous to me. It's just ridiculous. Um, in some ways, I've done the same things, you know, especially in the past. When I first realized I was bi, yeah. I literally made that a huge part of my life at the time. I really did. I was excited about it. I was thrilled. I was telling everybody. I felt like telling, you know, especially, of course, my online community. Instagram, Facebook, and whatnot. <coughs> Not like super fast, but, you know, as soon as I really felt comfortable after I told my husband and all that. I just went crazy telling everyone. So much to the point where I let it define me, you know? Um, why do we let sexuality define us? What the hell? Okay, that looks kind of creepy. Look at the bird staring at me. That is not. Why do we let sexuality define us so much? That's not the only aspect of who we are. Yet we feel that it is. We feel that we have to make sexuality the only aspect of our lives. And that, my friends, will stop. I really believe that it must stop because that's not all there is to life. This nature right now that I'm experiencing, that's life. Oh my god, turtles! <gasps> I just saw two turtles jump in the water off that rock. So that's that sound I heard. Oh wow. Oh snap. Wish I could see it again, but they're underwater for now. That was amazing. Mm. Anyway, this life I'm experiencing right now is more important than me being bisexual. It's more important than great gay rights or trans rights or anything that people are fighting and fussing and tearing each other apart over on the daily. Like seriously. We can fight over our sexuality, we can fight over that shit, but we can't fight over you know, like I said, the fact this earth is filthy, or, you know, any war, or anything positive. Nothing that really matters. Your sexuality does not matter in the grand scheme of things. We know this. And if you don't, then wow, you need to wake up. I mean, seriously, think about it. Your sexuality does not matter when it comes to things that we really need. Things that we must be doing, like growing food and trying to figure out how to get our water cleaner. And all that stuff. I mean, seriously, you know? Black folks, we gotta wake up. I know a lot of us have identity crises. 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 That doesn't sound right for some reason. <laughs> oh, I know a lot of us have an identity crisis, but we have got to work on getting rid of that identity crisis. The only way we're going to heal as a race is to work on getting to know ourselves in other aspects besides just sexuality. You are not your sexuality, okay? It doesn't matter what you are, who you're attracted to. That really does not matter in the grand scheme of things. Like I said, it never matters. Who is he fish in the water? We need to focus on other things that make us who we are. We let go of fighting sexuality wars. 
Spiderwebs. Seriously, y'all. Spiderweb, spiderweb, spiderweb. <laughs> we need to focus on other things. Seriously. We are just losing ourselves. Talking about sexuality and defining ourselves because of our sexuality rather than figuring ourselves out for the world. Because we're not spending enough time in nature. And we're not um, we're not opening our, uh, opening our minds to new thoughts and ideas and accepting things for how they are. So yeah. Sexuality does not matter. Keep that in mind, people, because I know, of course, young people, really young people, like teenagers, when they find out their sexuality, they really go crazy with it, because then they want to experiment right off the bat, and they don't think. They just be like, oh yeah, I'm going to try this now, 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 now. And even when I first figured it, figured it out, for myself, I was kind of like that. And I was already married. I was kind of like that, just accepting, you know, okay, I think that I'm bisexual, but, you know, Maybe I should start experimenting. You know, I want to <laughs> get a woman now. I mean, of course, I knew I didn't want any any old fling, but I still wanted to do it real quick. I wanted to start experimenting real quick, just like a teenager. Because, of course, as a teenager, um, I was a virgin, which was good, you know. And I lasted all the way up until I met my husband, but... Even still, I didn't have a life, as you guys know from my story. I did not have much of a life, so I didn't get to do anything bad. <laughs> I didn't get to do any sort of experimentation. Which, in a lot of ways, is good. In a lot of ways, you want to avoid that experimental stage, because all that shit does get you into trouble. You know what I mean? All it does get you into trouble. But I still have those moments where, you know, I kind of want to, but I don't. I still haven't. Experience what I'd like to experience sexually as far as a woman, you know, but you know, I have not been worried about it in the last few months because the world has literally gone more to shit than I ever would have imagined. So what's the point, you know, what's the point of worrying about this stuff? I'm not here trying to get closer to nature, that's my concern, getting closer to nature and getting healthier and taking care of my family the best way I can. And just call it a day. That's all I care about. As far as my sexuality, I'll just deal with it when it, when it happens. If a woman comes along and she's not a threat to my family, why not? You know? If it just happens that way, well, I'll just take it as I need to when it happens. But as for right now, sexuality is really not all that important. We need to focus on other things. You are not your sexuality. Do not let it define you because you are not it and that does not define you. If you look up your sexuality in the dictionary, your name will not be there. I promise you that. So yeah, I hope you guys take that as food for thought. And I believe that I'm done here. Yeah, I'm gonna start heading back home soon. Because I'm tired, I've been here for almost two hours. I hope you guys are having a great day, second hour, month, minute, and life. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.